This bandsaw was bought October 1st, 2019. It was on sale for 200 bucks. I'm about as far as I want to go on assembly and just take my time doing some checkouts. I have been watching some other YouTube videos on assembly. There's a couple of really nice videos out there that's very descriptive and well thought out. Before I go any further, I want to pull the cover off the gearbox and do an inspection on it and just see what it looks like. Some of them have had some uh, burrs on their gears. It looks like some kind of a worm and sector or gear and sector gear. I'm not sure what, what we're going to get into. I've seen pictures of them online, but yeah, we'll see what the grease looks like. Uh, going through the owner's manual, Harbor Freight does recommend a straight 140 weight grease. A lot of guys are putting 90 weight. They're putting in 85W140, 90W140 synthetic. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to find a straight 140 weight grease. If nobody has it, I'll order it. I can order it online from Amazon. So if you got any leaks coming out of your gasket or anything, you might want to, if you are using a synthetic, which is a, which is a multi-viscosity, say 75 to 140 or 80 or 85 to 140, you may want to go to a straight 140 before you do anything else. They weren't very tight at all. I'm going to put them in the handy dandy magnetic tray. Oh, those washers don't want to come off right now. Let me get a towel just in case there's a mess. I don't want to have to pry on it. No, I don't have to. She's coming right off, guys. It's not going to run out. Okay, well that's nice. I'll get the camera up closer to show you where the oil level is. Guess you'll have to take it out with an evac tool, some kind of a suction tool, pull a vacuum on it and get it out of there. Even a turkey baser will work on that. I'm going to take my gloves off to get a feel for the edges on, on the worm gear. Okay, just raking my fingernail. On the upper side, feels good. Let's touch the Chinese oil. Even the oil looks really good. It smells just like ours, maybe slightly different. Let me get a bright flashlight, check out that brass gear. There's some talk online about using GL5, saying some GL5 oils are not compatible with bronze or brass gears. I don't know about that. I haven't researched that enough. I'm not gonna worry too much about it, because I'm not going to get into GL5. I'm pretty sure a straight 140 weight gear oil is going to be a GL4. I'm going to take the camera off and get you as close as I can. You can see the cup portion of the gear that's cut out on the brass. Overall, I'm no gear expert, but it looks like a well-made set of gears to me. Very easy to turn. The blade's on it also. Must be a set screw up in there, just to help hold it on. Bearing looks to be good there. The bottom end probably just floats. Overall, I'm impressed with it on the quality. I may have just got lucky, I don't know. This tray's holding all those bolts, all six of them in washers. Straight vertical. I love them trays, I'm gonna buy another one. Okay, we got the saw down. I'm going to show you how easy it is for me to turn this saw by hand, but I feel like I've got a good one. Okay, it goes, that's the wrong way. It runs this way. I think, yeah. Okay, we're going in the right direction. You can watch how that gear oil as the blade turns, this gear picks up the oil and brings it around and dumps it right on top. And oil pretty much stays on this worm gear the whole time too. Okay, that's all I'm going to do on the gearbox. I'm going to plug it in and turn the motor on. 
I want you to hear how quiet it is. Now you won't be able to see the shaft turn, but you'll be able to hear it. It's pretty quiet in here. Okay, I got it pinned. Should be okay there. No. The cover really needs to be on because it's wanting to spill out right about there. So here we go. Sounds good to me. Zero wind play on this shaft. No wobble at all. So as far, it feels like I got a good motor. And I haven't adjusted the tracking or anything. Don't know if it's going to need it, but I'll have to get into that later. Hey, thanks a lot for watching and please subscribe. Have a good one.